Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Welcome to today's uh, Sufi meditation meeting. Uh, on, on this, the 22nd of November, 2021. I hope everybody is well, wherever you are tuning into this from. And um, having a, a good day. Um, ah, you know, today I was planning to do this initially at the chaplaincy, um, but you can obviously see that, uh, especially on Instagram, you can see I'm not at the chaplaincy. Um, <clears throat> it's my turn to have a little bit of a bug. I can't complain with all this, uh, you know, couple of years of uh, COVID and everything going around. And uh, Alhamdulillah, though, I don't have COVID. It's just a sore throat. But um, I did a lateral flow test this morning, but nonetheless, it's a bug and uh, we all get them from time to time, no matter how careful we are or what we do to boost our immune system. And Alhamdulillah, because for any uh, illness that we get in this life, then Allah sends us forgiveness for our sins. If we accept it as uh, from Allah and realize that there is a wisdom in everything, and a blessing in everything, even if it's not immediately apparent. And as they say, uh, you know, or as Allah says in the Quran, that although we've got some plan, that he is the best of planners. Um, no matter how well our plans are, there are always things which we can't plan for. Um, even Robert Burns said this, uh, but Mousy, thou art no thy lane. Improving foresight may be vain. The best laid schemes or mice and men gang after we. And leave us naught but grief and pain or promise to me. You know, uh, the best laid schemes of mice and men, it's, it's the same as what Allah says in the Quran. That although they plot and plan, Allah is the best of planners. And, you know, it's not just about, although that is more uh, focused on people that are doing uh, wrong things and you know that Allah is telling the believers don't worry you know because the God ultimately is the best of planners and whatever they are planning it will always come to nothing but it's also there as a reminder whatever our actions you know if, if we have good intentions uh, we're doing good things and we don't get to uh, do what we initially planned, Allah will still reward us for our good intentions and for intending to do something good and for planning it. If on the other hand, that we have bad intentions and we intended to do something bad and we were not able to complete it, uh, or, then we don't, get, we don't get a punishment for it from Allah. Because thoughts can cross our minds, you know, good and bad thoughts. Also, if you have a bad intention, which you never complete because you choose not to do it because you know it's wrong. Although you had a bad thought and a bad intention come to you, you actually get a reward from Allah for not carrying through something that was wrong. And so that it's... One of the things is intentions and having good intentions. Uh, if you have good intentions in the first place, this is good and you'll get rewarded for it. But Allah is merciful. And so even a person who has a bad thought come to mind or a bad intention, then if they don't do it, then they don't get any punishment. And if they don't do it because they choose not to do it because they know it's wrong, Allah will reward them for it. Because this comes from Allah's mercy. So it's a sign that Allah is, is looking for ways to forgive us. Allah is not looking to punish us. We often punish ourselves and other people punish other people, but Allah transcends all of this. Allah is not like that at all. At all. God is not intending to punish anybody. But today, I mean, I had plans and those plans didn't turn out as I had planned. And it is just a reminder it's a reminder for me and a reminder for other people that there are always little things that you can't plan for. And the illness is one of those things. 
Alhamdulillah, I'm not particularly ill. You know, if it was before COVID and a few years ago, I might have just gone to work like this. It wouldn't have uh, stopped me. Um, I'm not ill in that sense. And Alhamdulillah, I'm not. I, I'm, I'm very appreciative to Allah that I have generally good health. But at the same time, with uh, the situation with COVID and you know, things that have been going around, um, people are a lot more careful these days. So I didn't want to spread any germs and it goes against uh, risk assessment at the chaplaincy. We don't want to be spreading germs. I mean, like I said earlier, I did do a lateral flow test and I know it's not COVID. So I hope, you know, I mean, if you want to make dua for me, alhamdulillah, but uh, don't, don't have worry. It should be nothing to worry about. Be better in a couple of days, inshallah. But, um, it's enough that uh, I didn't go in. There are also a lot of things, and it gives me an opportunity to talk about this. There are a lot of things which we can do to actually help ourselves when we get ill. Because it's not only medicine that's medicine. Like a lot of people, the first thing they do when they feel under the weather is they will go to the doctor. I'm not saying don't, you know, if you want to go to the doctor, go to the doctor. And if it's more than a little thing, and you know, you need to get it checked, you should go to a doctor. But um, there are also little things that we can do. For instance, honey is very helpful. If you have a drink, if you have like a cold symptoms or flu symptoms, and you have a drink with honey, and you put some lemon juice with it, then, and you put some hot water with that, you can make a drink. And that drink will actually help soothe your symptoms. Another thing you can use is that you can get uh, a ginger and you can either cook ginger in food or you can slice ginger up in slices if you have fresh ginger and just put a slice in a cup of tea when you make a cup of tea or a few slices if you make a pot of tea and the, the ginger will go into the tea. Um, you can also use uh, a spoonful of ginger sugar or you can, you can use crystallized ginger and just chop a bit of that up and put that inside. Uh, all of these things will add ginger to hot drinks like tea and coffee. And ginger will help you, will help alleviate any symptoms which you are feeling. Uh, also, garlic is very useful for fighting colds and flu symptoms and other germs and it's also useful uh, for high blood pressure as well. So there are a lot of these natural remedies which can really help us. And as simple as it sounds, water. A lot of people overlook water, but water is one of the best things when you've got a cold or flu. Just drinking lots of water, it helps flush it out of your system. It's mine. And if you do zikr on the water, then it becomes even better and more blessed. And uh, it has an additional benefit. But even just clean water, it will be, you find if you, instead of drinking other things, if you just drink pure water, when you've got a cold, you'll notice it helps. Um, anything else I can think? Uh, yeah, a number of herbal teas are available, which will which will also help. Don't underestimate these things because before modern medicine came on the scene, uh, all medicines were derived from herbs, were derived from plants, or you know natural things. And these actually helped us get over illness for a very long time, long before, long before the medicines uh, were developed. And also even uh, paracetamol, don't forget paracetamol or simple remedies like this. Um, And rest. 
Another very important one is make sure that you get enough rest because a lot of people, they don't um, these days. You know, people, they get stressed out through work or if they're students through studying. Um, and, and then also people want to obviously have time to relax and wind down. And they tend, not, they tend to sacrifice their sleep. Well, you can do this a little bit. But if you over-sacrifice your sleep, then you will be harming your body. Because when you're asleep, your body is actually using that as an opportunity to heal itself. And if you don't sleep enough, then you're not giving your body what it needs. You're not giving the body its time to recover and recuperate. It's not just about sleep. Um, and there's also a spiritual dimension to this as well, because when you are asleep, your soul goes back to Allah. This is what it, it is um, in our tradition, which we believe. Our soul goes back to Allah. It's still connected to the body, but it also is, is uh, in the presence of Allah. And more so, I mean, in a sense, we always are spiritually, but we're aware of that when we're asleep. And we're closer, if you could, if you could say. I mean, uh, it's hard to kind of define some of these things because it's not like this. You know, when you're talking about things in this world, they're physical. There's definite boundaries between things. Uh, in reality, our souls are always in the presence of Allah, whether we are aware of it or not. But when you are asleep, this veil is thinner. So you're more aware of the fact that you are in the presence of Allah. And that also means that uh, this is why you can also sometimes have dreams, which are very meaningful. Dreams which actually give you insights into things which you wouldn't necessarily uh, experience otherwise. So, whereas when you're in your waking state, unless you're at a particularly high level of consciousness, you wouldn't be aware of that. You're only aware of that when you are asleep, or maybe if you've done some powerful uh, zikr and you're entered into a state in which you are more conscious of Allah. So it's not something which, you know, in our normal day-to-day -day activities, that we will be aware of. And this is, and this is normal. Um, this Also, when we get ill, it gives us a time to, uh, it forces us basically to take some time out because sometimes people, they don't do that. Well, when we get very busy, we're, we're always rushing around, uh, busy with our business, whatever our business happens to be. And we're so focused on that we don't necessarily take time out for ourselves. But just like we need sleep, we also need time for ourselves. Uh, I mean, quality time, you know, because if you're always rushing around and doing things either to make money or for other people, and you're not taking enough time out for yourself, then you're doing yourself a disservice. And you're also harming your ability to heal yourself and, and recharge yourself, which is one of the reasons why we get ill. You see, illness is on the one level, it is, uh, you know, if we get a virus or a bacteria, it is something you can see that, that that's happening. But at the same time, have you ever wondered why you can have a whole group of people and Somebody in that group or a few people in that group don't get ill, but everybody else got the flu. Why didn't those people get the flu? Now, it could be that they have an immunity that previously they had that strain of flu or a similar strain of flu, 
And so because of it, they don't get the flu on that occasion. This is possible, this can happen. But it can also mean, it can also be because their immunity was stronger because they were looking after themselves better. Uh, maybe they were not burning their energies more. You see, if we only are focused on work and doing things either for money or for other people, and we don't take that time out, then we, we're spending our energy here and we're spending our energy there. You've got to think energy is also like money. Uh, and that energy has been spent. It's been spent on this, it's been spent on that. This is why the all the are learned, also ulama, they remind us that when you spend your energy, don't just spend your energy on work. Make sure you spend some of your energy in acts of ibadah acts that will actually be rewarding and which Allah will look kindly upon you and which on the day of judgment may be your saving graces. So, and also within this life, you know, can actually benefit you and make you feel uh, better about yourself. And it, we, that helps to recharge us because if we don't recharge ourselves, then we're not able to go out and do other things. Now, alhamdulillah, I'm not like that at the moment, but um, these are things that I, you know, I'm thinking about now because, because I am feeling a bit under the weather. And it's an opportunity for me to share that with you because a lot of people get ill quite frequently. And if, if you get ill on a frequent basis, then you have to wonder why that is. I mean, are there things that you could change in your diet that would make your diet healthier? Because your immune system would normally help you avoid getting ill if you're a normal, healthy individual. I mean, of course, if someone's got long-term health conditions, then their situation may be different. So they will find that uh, a challenge anyway. But if a person doesn't have long-term health conditions and they are frequently getting ill, then maybe there's something that's wrong with your diet. Maybe you eat too much junk food and don't supplement that with enough fruit and vegetables or you know herbs and uh, spices, things which will actually um, give you nutrients or certain chemicals, natural chemicals, which will actually benefit you. I mean, I mentioned ginger earlier. Ginger contains things called ginger rolls. And ginger rolls, they are a form of uh, natural medicine, which found in the ginger, a form of chemical that's naturally occurring in the ginger. And this helps us to fight germs. Also within mint, you've got uh, menthols. And those menthols will actually help clear the nasal passages and make it so much easier to cope when you've got flu or you've really got a cold. Uh, eucalyptus also has them. There are a number of different herbs that have that benefit that can be used in that way. So we should try to make use of these things uh, to help us stay healthy. And when we become ill, at least it alleviates the symptoms. Another good one is to take a vitamin C, uh, a thousand milligrams of vitamin C daily will help us stave off colds and flu. Uh, I've been taking that for the past few years. And anybody who's been tuning into these videos for me over the past, uh, what, nearly two years now? Well, notice this is the first time they've tuned into me in all that time when I've really uh, been a bit under the weather. Uh, there's, I can't think of any other example when it's particularly noticeable. I might have had a very, very slight cold on a couple of occasions, but um, this is more obvious. So 
you know, I mean, I can't grumble really. I mean, I'm not going to grumble after uh, nearly two years of uh, not coming down with anything, but um, especially with COVID being around. But at the same time, it's like it will happen to us all sometimes. Nonetheless, if you take a thousand milligrams of vitamin C every day and 25 milligrams of vitamin D, this is natural stuff. You know, it will help you either most of the time avoid getting colds and flu because it boosts your immune system. And if you do get it, you'll be better within a couple of days um, or a few days. You know, I'm sure within the next couple of days, inshallah, I'll be over this. This will be finished. It's not a particularly uh, bad illness. I just feel a bit uncomfortable. Um, <clears throat> And I hope you can hear what I'm saying and it's clear. Um, but uh, Alhamdulillah, the other thing is that if you do become ill anytime, uh, to, to thank Allah for it and accept it. Because when you thank Allah and accept it, then Allah will reward you for it as, as well as taking away sins from, from you. So it's if you approach illness in a positive way, it actually becomes a source of barakah. In the West, we just tend to think of illness as being a bad thing and how do we stop it? And of course, I'm not saying we shouldn't do that. Uh, we should try to get better. But at the same time, if we do become ill, try to approach it with a bit more positivity and accept it because it's one of those things that it will happen to all of us at some point or another whether it's a cold or flu or a sore throat like I've got at the moment, but we're all going to get something at some point or another. So rather than being uh, angry about that and upset about that, if we accept it, then we can move on and, and we're much more positive and in a better place. Uh, it's all about developing uh, taqwa, which is about, uh, which is consciousness, being more God conscious, and seeing things for what they really are instead of our initial perceptions. I mean, why, when we get ill, we think illness uh, is, we just see the bad. In it. I'm not saying it's not a bad thing, but we just see the bad in it. It's because it's uncomfortable. It's uncomfortable, uh, or it can hurt, or we don't have energy to do things. It drains us. Uh, obviously, these are not things that we enjoy. But if we accept it and appreciate the experience for what it is, even if it's an unpleasant experience, we can actually still learn and benefit from that experience. And it's a much more positive approach than just being annoyed about it or upset, if you see what I'm saying. And this is why Allah rewards that. Apologies, I was, I was going to come live at about five, uh, like I would normally do when I'm at the chaplaincy, but the only thing is when you're at home, then uh, I also had to collect the children from school and uh, cook some food. Uh, so um, <laughs> that's the only thing. When you're at home, it's not the most uh, constructive environment for work, let's say. It, it can uh, brings its own challenges. And I guess with people working at home, this is something that a lot of you will already realise and you don't need me to, to point out. But... Um, Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. Well, that's not my usual uh, subject, but uh, I hope there's a few points in there which you can benefit from. And um, I am going to do the zikr, but it's going to be a bit quieter than usual, and I'll probably just do the first part. Um, before we start any zikr, we always uh, check our intentions. 
no way to lobby, no way to lose the, no way to call, no way to lift up, no way to suluk, no way to riad, the lila hitara, fihada jami. I intend to perform the 40 days of retreat. I intend to retreat in isolation. I intend to retreat in solitude. I intend to perform the retreat. I intend to follow the path. I intend to perform the spiritual practices of Allah, the highest, in his place of worship. Worship your Lord until he grants you certainty. We begin with the recitation of the Kalama Shahada, which means I bear witness that there is no God but Allah, and Muhammad is his servant and emissary. Ashadu Allah ilah illallah wa ashadu anna Muhammad al-Abduhu wa Rasulu Ashadu Allah ilah illallah wa ashadu anna Muhammad al-Abduhu wa Rasulu Ashadu Allah ilah illallah wa ashadu anna Muhammad al-Abduhu wa Rasulu we seek Allah's forgiveness by reciting a stop roller. Um, I'm actually going to do it quietly. That's okay on this occasion. Asta firula, rasta firula, asta, asta, asta firula, asta firula, asta firula, asta firula, asta firula, asta firula, asta firula. Asta Firona, 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 Astafur Lazi Valadi, La Ila Hila, Wahibu Kayu, Wa to Brade, Inubu Roa to Abu Rahim, Yamu Sabi Baraspa, Yamu Fatia Abwa, Yamu Kodi Bukarubi Warabsa, Ya the Lion and Mutta Hyrin, Ya Gayatun Musta Hyatin, Ya Hayu Ya Kayu, Ya do Jala di Malikram. Wa fuidu amri illa inna la basiran biliban. Rabbi to Sharifa, direct your heart to the heart of your Sharifa. Fatiha Sharifa. A'uzu billah min ash-shaitan al-rajim. Bismillahi rahman al-rahim. Alhamdulillahi rabbi al-alameen. Ar-Rahman, Ar-Rahim, Maliki, Yomidin, Iyak, Nabdu, Iyak, Nastain, Yadina, Sirat, Al-Mustaqim, Sirat, Al-Adina, Ramtu, Alayhim, Agayu, Al-Madu, Biyarihim, Muratu, Alayhim. Bismillahi, Ar-Rahman, Ar-Rahim, Alhamdulillahi, Rabbi, Al-Alamin, Ar-Rahman, Ar-Rahim, Maliki, Yomidin, Ia kena abdu, ia kena stain. Ia dina sirat al-mustafim. Sirat al-adina ramtu alihim. Aghayr al-maltu biyadihim waratu dina. Alhamdulillahi rabbi al-adamin. Ar-Rahman al-Rahim mariki yomidin. Ia kena abdu, ia kena stain. Ia dina sirat al-mustafim. Sirat al-adina ramtu alihim. Ghaibul maktubi arihi wa ratuhudi amin. Alhamdulillahi rabbi al-alamin. Ar-Rahman al-Rahim maliki yawmidin. Iyak nabdu iyak nistayin. Yadina sirat al-mustaqim. Sirat al-dina ramtu alihim. Ghaibul maktubi arihi wa ratuhudi amin. Alhamdulillahi rabbi al-alamin. Ar-Rahman al-Rahim, Mariki Yomidin, Iyak nabdu, Iyak nastahin, Iyadina sirat al-Mustaqim, Sirat al-Dina ramtu alayhim, Ghayb al-Matub yadihim wa raddu alayhim. 
Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Alhamdulillahirrabbilalamin. Rahmanirrahim. Maliki yawmidin. Iyakun abdu, iyakun astayin. Adina sirat al-mustaqim. Sirat al-adina aramtu alihim. Khayyur madu bi alihim wa ratu adin. Alhamdulillahirrabbilalamin. Arrahmanirrahim. Maliki yawmidin. Iyak nabdu, iyak nastayin, Yadina sirat al-mustakim, Sirat al-adina aramtu alihim, Khayyur matubi alihim wa ratu alihim. Amin. Salawatu al-shurifa. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Allahumma s-sali ala Muhammadin wa ala ala Muhammadin wa s-sali. Allahumma s-sali ala Muhammadin wa ala ala Muhammadin wa s-sali. Allahumma s-sali ala Muhammadin wa ala ala Muhammadin wa s-sali. Alamina Sura Sharifa, Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. A'uzu billahi minash shaitanir rajim, Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Alamina Sura laka sadrak, wa adalanka widrak, alladhi anka wa dharak, wa rafana laka dhikrak, fa inna manus yusra, inna manus yusra, fa idha farak tufan sab, wa lidha rabika fagab, Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Aram Nasra, Laka Sadrak, Wada, Nank with Rak, Allah the Anka with Rak, Warapa, Nalaka Zikrak, by in the Manus Yusra, in the Manus Yusra, by the Frak of Ansa, or in the Rabbi Kapaga, with Mother Hirahman, Irahim, Aram Nasra, Laka Sadrak, Wada, Nank with Rak, Allah the Anka with Rak, Warapa, Nalaka Zikrak, by in the Manus Yusra, in the Manus Yusra, by the Paracta Vansa, while in the Rabbika Paga, with Mother Hirohman Rahim, Alam Nasra, the Kasadrak, Wada, the Kwitrak, Allah the Anka Vadrak, Warafa, the Laka Dikrak, by in the Manus Yusra, in the Manus Yusra, by the Paracta Vansa, while in the Rabbika Paga, with Mother Hirohman Rahim. Alam Nasra, the Kasadrak, Wada, the Kwithrak, Allah the Anka Vatharak, Warafa, the Laka Dikrak, in the Manus Yusra, in the Manus Yusra, by the Frakta Pansa, Walida Rabbi Kapaga, Bismada Hirahman Rahim, Alam Nasra, the Kasadrak, Wada, the Kwithrak, Allah the Anka Vatharak, Warafa, the Laka Dikrak, in the Manus Yusra, in the Manus Yusra, Pavida for Atavansa, Walida Rabbi Kapaga, Bismada Hirahman Rahim, Aram Nasra, the Kasatarak, Wada, the Kuitrak, Alarian Kavadarak, Warafan, the Kadikrak, in the Manus Yusra, in the Manus Yusra, Pavida for Atavansa, Walida Rabbi Kapaga. Iklas u Sharifa. Assalamu alaikum, brother. Iklas u Sharifa. A'uzu bilahi minash shaitan al-rajim. Bismillahi al-Rahman al-Rahim. Qul wallahu ahad. Allahu samad. Lam yadid waram yurad. Waram yukulahu kufuwan ahad. 
Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Kulu Allahu ahad. Allahu samad. Lam yalid uram yurad. Uram yukulahu kufuan nahad. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Kulu Allahu ahad. Allahu samad. Lam yalid uram yurad. Uram yukulahu kufuan nahad. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Kulu Allahu ahad, Allahu samad, lam yazid wa lam yurad, wa lam yukulahu kufuan nahad. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Kulu Allahu ahad, Allahu samad, lam yazid wa lam yurad, wa lam yukulahu kufuan nahad. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Kulu Allahu ahad, Allahu samad, lam yadid wa lam yurad, wa lam yukulahu kufuan nahad. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Kulu Allahu ahad, Allahu samad, lam yadid wa lam yurad, wa lam yukulahu kufuan nahad. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Kulu Allahu ahad, Allahu samad, Lam yadid wa lam yurad, wa lam yukulahu kufuan nahad. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Kulu Allahu ahad, Allahu samad. Lam yadid wa lam yurad, wa lam yukulahu kufuan nahad. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Kulu Allahu ahad, Allahu samad. Lam yadid wa lam yurad, wa lam yukulahu kufuan nahad. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Kulu Allahu ahad. Allahu samad. Lam yadid wa lam yurad. Wa lam yukudahu kufuan nahad. Al-Fatiha al-Shuifa. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Alhamdulillahi Rabbi Zalameen. Al-Rahman al-Rahim. Maliki yawmitin. Iyaka nabudu. Iyaka nastain. Yadina sirat al-Mustaqim. سيرات الذين رمت وعليهم غير ما توبي عليهم ورتوا لهنا آمين بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين الرحمن الرحيم مالك يوم الدين إياك نعبد وإياك نستعين يدينا سيرات المستقيم سيرات الذين رمت وعليهم غير ما توبي عليهم ورتوا لهنا آمين Bismillahi r-Rahmani r-Rahim. Alhamdulillahi Rabbi al-Alamin al-Rahmani r-Rahim. Maliki yawm i-Din. Iyak na'abudu wa iyak na'asta'in. Yadina sirat al-Mustaqim. Sirat al-Dina al-Amtu alihim. Ghaib al-Maktubi alihi wa ratulin. Amin. Bismillahi r-Rahmani r-Rahim. Alhamdulillahi Rabbi al-Alamin al-Rahmani r-Rahim. Maliki yawm i-Din. إياك نعبد وإياك نستعين إهدنا السيرات المستقيم سيرات الذين أدمت عليهم غير المتوب عليهم ورتولين آمين بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين الرحمن الرحيم مالك يوم الدين إياك نعبد وإياك نستعين إهدنا السيرات المستقيم سيرات الذين أدمت عليهم غير ما توبي عليهم ورتولين آمين بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين الرحمن الرحيم مالك يوم الدين إياك نعبد وإياك نستعين أهدنا السيرات المستقيم سيرات الذين أدمت عليهم غير ما توبي عليهم ورتولين آمين بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين الرحمن الرحيم مالك يوم الدين إياك نعبد وإياك نستعين إهدنا السيرات المستقيم سيرات الذين أرمت عليهم غير المتوب عليهم ورتولين آمين بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الصلاة في الشريفة بسم الله الرحيم 
سليم أبي وسليم على جميع أنبياء وسليم على كل أجمعين. أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم. ربي خاد إيتيتاني من أبوكي ورمتاني من تولي الحديث فتيرة السماوات والأرض أن توليه في الدنيا والآخرة توفاني مسلمان ولكني بصالحين. أما لي بالله صدق الله الرزي. سبحان ربي كربي ذاتي ما يفسكون وسلم على المسلمين والحمد لله رب العالمين. إلا الشراف النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم والي وصحابه الكرام وإلى الله أنبياءه ومصدين وكل ما يشرعهم وإلى إمارة أبوى وإلى المشاكين في تاريخ الأشبانية التي آلية كسدان الأرق وجوكان الفاتحة أعوذ بنا من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين الرحمن الرحيم ملك يوم الدين إياك نبد وإياك نستعين إلى السراة المستقيم سيرة الذين أنمت عليهم خير ما توبي عليه ولا توبي عليه Remembrance of Falamanatu la ilaha illallah Know that there is no God but Allah La ilaha illallah 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 لا إله إلا الله 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 لا 
La ilaha illallah. La ilaha illallah. Muhammed Rasulullah Az barada gori mu ki ol kulu olat kuat illa billahi lal azim illa shurafi nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam wa ali wa sabi wa illa awahi sa'i sa'atin wa sidikiyun al fatiha a'uzu billahi min ash-shaytan ar-rajim bismillahi rahmani rahim alhamdulillahi rabbil alamin arrahman rahim maliki yawmiddin Iyak na budu iyak na stayni di na sirat ala mustaqim sirat ala dina ala amtu alayhim ghaibul madubi alayhim wa atulim Salavat Ara after the Mina Sidi, now Hamidini Sarawat. Ara after the Mina Sidi, now Hamidini Sarawat. Salawat and the Ibarica, you are Pia, you are a Suli, Mojami Kalkila, Mohammedi Muadi, Mohammedi, a lady will be Musana, or Rahmatala, you are a Katu, while you allow to Barakawata, and Salatina Shabi Rosula, he had Jimani, only to be in a behavior son. When he was Sadina Hamadin, when he only made what he came when he was the ice on the pin, and Mashakina Pitalik Nachbandi at the area, got us allowed to know from Mazakia, when I was allowed to write to Baraka, but allowed to learn him a Baraka, you know, who you that him dying man, but under the hill rapid on the mean of Fatima, I also will have him in the Shetani regime, Miss Malfi Rahman Rahim. I'm doing the hill rapid on the mean of Rahman Rahim, Maraki Hamadin. Yak and Abdu Yak and the Stain, you did not see Rat or Mustahim, Serat Radin Adam to Ali him. I will not do be Ali him or to mean. You love the Ratina beast of the Bawali was the same. What he was, Sabikira. Waila Wahi Sari and Biaki or Mussolin. What could a Mai Shrine, Waila Awaki Mashakina, Tanikanash Bandi at Ali? Kasatani Ruhi, Mam Tariko, a goat, we Kalika Shabodi, Nakshpan, or with the Waisi Bokari. With a Molana Sheikh of Dollar, our players, the Kastani, or Ila Zindapia, with a Supi of Dollar, with a Molana Sheikh Nazi, Matil Rakani, or Ila Gusto, with a Sheikh Adan, but to Rudin, or Ila Sheikh Molana Sheikh Isham Kabani, or Ila Sheikh Badsha, with a Sheikh Dr. Tari Kadri. Waila Sheikh Daud Rasawin, Waila Sheikh Mohammed Adil, Waila Sheikh Nokebani, Waila Sayri Sadatina was in Kiyuna Fatiha. I was a bit of him in Shatani regime, Miss Benaki Rahman Rahim, Alhamdulillah, he rubbed the Amin Rahman Rahim, Mariki Amidin, Yakana would be in a sign in a Sirat and Ostakim, Serat Radina to Adahim, Raybul Matubi Ali Matuin Amin. Alam was the last Sadina Mohammed, you want to be Sadina Mohammed, you want to buy Kasani. Alam was the last Sadina Mohammed, you want to be Sadina Mohammed, you want to buy Kasani. Sadi Rabbi was saying, I jam you up behind Muslim Yala. Yala shall be your blessings upon the soul of the Prophet Muhammad Sallam and his noble ancestors and his noble descendants, especially the Allah Bait, upon all the previous prophets and the noble ancestors and noble descendants. Ya Allah bless the Sahabi Ikram, the Hilaf of Rashidin, the Ulama, the Uriya, and especially my sheikhs, Sufi Abdullah and Mulani Sheikh Nazim. Ya Allah bless the souls and raise the stations in your divine presence. And Ya Allah shall your blessings also on my beloved father, Richard Kevin Armstrong, all of the Wali Songo, especially uh, uh, Sheikh Adan, uh, Sheikh Sharif Hidayatullah, and Ya Allah. 
place also goes to Sheikh Adan Badruddin and Sheikh Abdul Qadir al Sufi. May Allah bless all of their souls and raise their stations in divine presence. May Allah bless all of our parents, bless all of our grandparents, uh, uncles and aunties, uh, nieces and nephews, and especially our beloved wives and husbands, children, grandchildren. May Allah bless our entire families, grant us to be in good health and well-being, mentally, physically, and spiritually. Grant us success in our livelihoods, halal livelihoods, and grant us blessings in all aspects of our lives, in our families, in our communities, and with it for our whole human family. Ya Allah, forgive us all for our sins and our mistakes, our shortcomings, and Ya Allah, inspire our hearts to be able to build a better, more connected, more united world around the right kind of values and principles, enlightened values and principles. Ya Allah, bless our human family and bless all of the other communities of life with which we share this planet. Allahumma salli ala Sayyidina Muhammad wa ala Sayyidina Muhammad wa barik wa salim. Sayyid Rabbi wa salim ala jamiyan fiyahi wa muslim wa inkuni ajma'in wa alhamdulillahi wa bil alameen al-fatiha. A'uzu bina min shaitani rajim bismillahi rahmani rahim. Alhamdulillahi rabbi al-alameen wa rahmani rahim maliki yawmidin. Iyya kanabudu wa yakin astaini jina sirat al-mustakim. Sirat al-zina alamtu alayhim. Ghayb al-madu bi alam madu al-pahim. So again, sorry it's, uh, to disappoint anyone, it's not, uh, not the same as it usually would be on a Monday and a little bit later today, but alas, there is a wisdom and a blessing in all of these things. So until next time, I wish you all the very, very best. I look forward to seeing you on Friday for my Friday reflections. Hopefully I'm feeling a lot better by then. And next week, we should be back at the chaplaincy uh, in the Oasis Lounge at 5 p.m. on the University of Birmingham. Uh, as well as online, on Zoom and Facebook and Instagram. If you uh, benef feel you're benefiting from these uh, broadcasts, Please don't forget to subscribe to my Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube channels so that you can be kept up to date. And also my website at paulsarmstrong.com. Until next week, I wish you all, well, until uh, next time, I wish you all the very, very best. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.